friends so i believe we have enough insight into basics of an angular language now before proceeding further let's first create a simple example so that we can understand the components of the application better for creating the application we will use the commands of explained you in the previous videos so let's get started firstly we will be needing to install the angular cli globally so you might have seen this particular command previously in my videos so let's just run this command for running this command we will be needing node js so in the node js uh, we will be doing the change directory into the uh, uh, folder where we need to create our workspace or the new project i've created in a folder called as new project here in a e drive so now here i in this particular uh, path i'll install globally the angular cli and now it has started Okay guys so as you can see that we have successfully installed the angular cli version 8.2.1 and 240 packages are added here so now we are good to go with the second command and the second step in our tutorial that is to create the new project for us which is a startup project so after running this particular command you will be able to create a new application which is which will be already up and running for you with and uh, the code here will adhere all to the all the best practices suggested by the angular developers so let's just copy this particular command which is the way how we will create our first application i've pasted it here and it says that ng new my first project would now it will ask for few things like do you really need a routing in this project do you really need something so just follow the uh, questions and answer accordingly i need basically the routing to show you how uh, the application actually routes through the navigations to different screens so i'll just use yes now it will uh, ask you for which css style do you really need like style sheet format do we really need whether it is css whether it is scss so i always go with css and as you can see uh, it has created many of these uh, files like as an example component.ts component spec.ts i'll explain all these uh, inbuilt files later in the video like first let let like this particular thing happen and we can create the first very first simple application for us so guys as you can see we have added successfully these packages that means by this time we, we might have created our very first project in that particular folder e new project so let's just go and find out whether our project is ready or not so this is my path e new project and here my first project is created let me open this for you this is the pre built fi configuration files given by angular so that our first angular application can run smoothly so as you have seen we have successfully created our very first angular application now it's time that let's check whether it is working fine or not so i have explained you uh, there is the third command that is ng serve so let's just get back to node js and let's check whether uh, we are able to run our first project or not so first we need to cd into our first project now here we will do ng serve basically ng serve command is to test what we have coded so though we have everything already pre coded but we can test what all things are given by angular as a starter project to us 
so it has started it will take some time to compile and it says it is compiled successfully now it also says the project is running at http 4200 so let's do one thing let's just open the browser open your browser on http localhost 4200 so let's just do as they say let's open localhost colon 4200 which is the port number and wow this is a very first application given by angular as a startup project to us so congratulations we have created our very first application now we will be understanding all these configuration files given by angular as a gift to us but in the later videos